Bright Side Masks RPG contains content that is not suitable for younger audiences and might be triggering to some, including strong language, implied suicide, death in or dying, vehicle accidents, depiction of illness, scarification, violent threats, and bullying. Lots of bullying. We have a bullying problem in this school. We're working on it, though. Enjoy the show. The bell rings! You all are <laughs> rushing to your classes. Your bus wasn't exactly on time. They don't really have the most adequate bus system. Your bus driver was already a sub-bus driver and it's literally the first day. So you, most of you, who have to ride stinky smelly bright side institution bus, arrived just in time for class. You snagged whatever seat you could. It's just a very random order. And finally, your teacher finishes to come into the room. She's kind of that classic teacher where she smells like French vanilla coffee. Her room is nice and cozy. You can see behind her as she's she's looking through her books and getting things ready. As you chatter, there is a lovely message from her telling you what you're going to be doing for the day. And with that, she stands at her, her podium, a beach ball below it, and the TV to the side of her. A dinosaur TV. Nothing, nothing fancy, of course. This is Brightside Institution! Institution for the Gifted. You're very well aware that this institution is not called a school, not called an academy, because it is pretty much a villain babysitting service. And you chose to be there. Whether you liked it or not. Whether it was your parents' choice, whether it was actually your choice because you actually think this place can help you. Or... Maybe it was the choice of an organization quite like Aegis that has control over you because of your abilities. And you signed a contract. Either way, you chose to be here. You might be regretting that a little bit right now. Or, hey, you might be really excited because there's a whole lot going on in this classroom. There are aliens, there are metahumans, there are lizard people, there are fish people. With that, Miss Hoshia clears her voice. Oh, this is so exciting. This is my very first class. Oh, I'm just so excited to shape these possible villains into the heroes of tomorrow. Welcome, class. Welcome. This is... this is an honor. I'm, I'm so excited to be your teacher. My name is Miss Hoshia, and this is class F. I have so many students, we don't even have enough desks. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry, Miranda. I'm really sorry. You have to sit all the way back there. I hope you can still hear me. I, I'm not very loud. I just... I, I, this is my first day, and I'm just really excited. So, what am- oh, jeez. Oh, uh, she starts flipping through a, a, a book because she literally wrote down everything she had to say because she's that nervous about being here. Wow, some of you are staring. That's, that's great. Uh, uh, that's right. We're just gonna be doing class introductions. We're not gonna be having many assignments today, if any at all. But first, uh, I, I, I have to show this, this video. <laughs> It's, it's a requirement, it's just an introduction that the Bright Side staff really wants you to see. Um, she goes to fiddle and put in a VHS, and she turns on the TV, which makes a horrific, like, static bong noise because it's ancient. You see on the TV, um, uh, you, you're assuming that while Miss Hoshia was prepping her classroom for the semester, she was watching the news, um, and you actually catch ear of a broadcast. Thank you for being here this morning, Miss Golden Light. Of course. There's been a lot of controversy going on with the Todd Clark rescue. Social media has painted you in a not-so-golden light. After saving a man who was attempting to commit suicide, do you believe what you did was right? Would you care to share your side of the story? I don't wish to discuss that topic at the moment. Well, what are your feelings on the decline of heroism? Do you believe your actions have contributed Heroism to Heroism is not declining. Villains are uprising. The modern era has had more villains than any other without a surplus of heroes to combat them. Explain how I fit into that equation. Oh gosh, that's way too early for politics. Oh goodness. And she, <laughs> she just pops that VHS in and on goes this really, really corny, just over the top, very annoying, almost like an advertisement, VHS, <laughs> of your principal, who happens to be a very, very scary spider woman. You are gifted. You are the metahumans of tomorrow. The aliens who will soon have roots on Earth. 
the creatures who came before us who have come to share their wisdom. And Brightside Institution is here to guide you along your journey to heroism. Here we teach morals and ethics, help students learn and enforce Halcyon City laws, provide you with exceptional preparation for combat, strengthen your mind and heart through emotional support and vigorous courses, as well provide a safe and comfortable learning environment for all. At Brightside, there's always another option. There's always a better way. We are a dedicated group of individuals who want nothing but the brightest futures for our students. We have found you where you are now. Our goal is to raise you to be better than the heroes of today and not become the villains of tomorrow. When we say, look on the bright side, we are always looking at you. You are bright. You are Halcyon's greatest gifts. You are bright side in. And then the really dumb corny credits roll, like in the sky, like a shot of the sky and the sun rising, sort of annoying, really cliche. Everybody hated that video. Like, you look around the room and pretty much everybody has their head down or looks like just absolutely suicidal. They just absolutely hated every second of that. It feels oh, like you were know. just basically told that, like, there is hope when, like, you feel like there really isn't. Oliver is fully, like, good posture, beaming smile. No, <laughs> took no. notes on the uh, VHS tapes. <laughs> when they said comfortable, Amari just kind of fidgeted in their chair and just, like, looked mm. away. As soon as it said aliens, the, the aliens of the class were like, that's me! Like, they, they looked around excitedly. <laughs> wow. Pretty much everybody is groaning and moaning, like, why did we have to sit through that? That was pointless. <laughs> but, you yeah. know. Um, Sam's just is paper. Just it's it's like, yeah. So, Miss Hoshia gets the VHS out, puts it back in its dumb little case, and pats it, and just sort of, like, nods to herself, like, we're gonna use that again, unfortunately. <laughs> and with that, she's like, okay, class, I sort of wanted to do an icebreaker since we have so many colorful faces. She says, looking at quite literally the giant monster sitting in the desk right in front of her. <laughs> the, the rainbow person, the the yeah. undersea creature, the raccoon, the moth, the <laughs> pirate. <laughs> The lizard, the shark man, the guy who looks like literal stone. And then is token she, white boy in the back. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> she's like pretty much focusing on you, honestly, because you're like pretty much the most normal. You and Miranda and Toby appear to be the most normal. So she's just sort of like, haha, students, children, normal. Yes. Um, <laughs> she's sort of just now realizing what she's getting into and how she's like, I'm in charge of these guys, but really they're in charge of me. Okay, I have written a total of six questions on this beach ball. I'm going to have everybody pass it around the room and whatever color your thumbs land on, there's a question that you're gonna answer about yourself. But when you catch the beach ball, just go ahead and introduce yourself briefly so that way everybody can know who you are. Let's start with, how about, how about, how about you? <laughs> she <laughs> throws the ball and it just quite literally smacks Mushio right in the mask. And he sort of watches it roll by and is like, looking at her just absolutely befuddled like just not understanding a clue at what he's supposed to do you know pick up pick up the beach the beach ball and he's just like quietly picks it up and looks around his little green slits look around nervously and he attempts to stand up but the desk kind of goes with him because he's so big so he's just kind of wearing a desk <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at everybody and he just waves and says I, I am Mushio from Planet Novali. And then he smiles. You can't see it, but you could probably feel that he is smiling. And he looks over at Miss Hoshia like, I have done my job. And she's just like, oh, um, what does your beach ball say? He looks down and squints, having a really hard time trying to read. And he says, uh, mm, who is your family? Well... Uh, he gets a thousand yard stare, he's just his little slits just sort of zero into his mask, <laughs> and he's like... I... Can we stand up there uncomfortable, teacher? 
Oh yeah, uh, he's definitely comfortable, she says, looking at him, and he's just shaking, and he's like, Amari frown. Oh, I don't have one, and then he just turns, please take the dreaded beach ball from my hands. <laughs> he's just, he really is not having a good time. And Miss, Miss Hoshi is just like, oh, I'll just throw it at whoever you want to learn more about. And he makes direct eye contact with Toby. Uh... And he just, he, he looks at the ball and looks at you and is trying to judge how hard he's going to throw this. He's he's not entirely sure. You, you, um, just... Just, you can hand it. I'll just take it, okay? It's cool. I, I, I like just, just like, yeah, stand he up definitely my just literally walks it over and he's just like, I do not wish to harm you. And then he just <laughs> sits back down to seat as quick as he can. No, he just like, takes I... his vest that he was wearing and just sits right back down. I love him. Like, uh, my, just looking up at him for a moment, just like my mouth just agape when I realize how tall he actually is. And just like, ah, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 um, <clears throat> hi, I'm, I'm Toby, Toby Ricardo. And I'm gonna answer a question now. Roll a 1d6, and I will tell you what question you must answer. You cannot disobey the beach ball. I cannot disobey the beach ball, too. What is your hobby? So this one says, what is my hobby? Um, I love comic books. I love, like, collecting stuff like that. Um, you know, like, reading up on different superheroes and stuff, and villains, and just being, like, you know, what the cool fights are, and, uh, what powers and stuff are cool. So, you know, just general... Hero stuff. Miss Hoshia just beams at you like, oh, of course. It's almost as if it were history. Trying to like be like, see, he's a hero. You all look like heroes. I, I hope. Question mark. I, I squint my one good eye. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> yeah. Mari's Mari very distracted, by the way. Mari's been like hovered over like oh, their wow. table a little bit, just kind of doodling on the desk. They're probably not paying attention to what's going on around them. Um, uh, I, I literally just like I look at Amari for a second and I'm like, oh no, they're busy. Uh, <laughs> I look behind me like, hey Oliver, and just kind of like, not like peg it at you, but kind of like throw it a little forcefully. Uh, <laughs> but, hey here. Oliver uh kind of catches it, and it's just like, oh, uh, I'm fumbling with the ball a bit, and then he's like, oh oh gosh, I moved my hand. Uh, uh. And throws it upwards again and catches it again oh. to uh, reestablish where he has uh, his thumb has landed and he rolled a five. Why are you at bright side? Oh, uh, well, I, I guess uh, I, I, I'm not really here for the villain reform thing. It's just that this is the closest school to my house and uh, <laughs> my mom can't afford to drive me to school. Uh, she works early. Um, I feel that. Uh, uh, that's. I, I get. Is that enough of an answer for the question? I could go. I could say more. Uh, uh, only, only you're comfortable with answering. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd say you're pretty lucky, even though this is more of a um a, a school for the gifted, as they say. Um, you're more than welcome to come here just as a regular student as well, if you're interested in heroics or, uh, yeah, if you're. If you're not, I really don't know what you're gonna do here, but we'll figure something out. It's fine. I'll, I'll just do the extra credit, I guess. I'm pretty sure okay. I can just do some <laughs> essays or something. She's probably crying a little. <laughs> does, any, does anybody want the, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just- Lucid quite literally jumps on the desk and is like, Throw it here, Lucid! Uh, okay. Uh, he kind of throws it and it uh, kind of just, Goes up and <laughs> just kind of <laughs> crawls. Doesn't quite go very far. Crawls down and gets it and is just like very confidently like, Oh yeah, I'm the owner of the beach ball. Just like, it's just I... god <laughs> gremlin energy through well, that the roof. That kid's crazy, okay. Beach ball says, when did you first get your powers? Well, okay, it's kind of a long story, but I'll just, uh, I, just I won't go into too much detail. I don't want to bore you, but... <laughs> Well, my parents died, and then, um, yeah, I, I, like, went into, like, this really deep coma because we got in a car accident, and then when I woke up, everything was fine. But then a couple years later, Day came out of my belly button, and then I had superpowers. It was freaking weird, but it was awesome because now every day, uh, my powers are pretty much whatever I dream about. Oh. And that's how I got my powers. <laughs> that's <laughs> cool, I guess. smiling. 
I'm Three the shock hole. out of their like stasis. They're <laughs> like staring at Lucid like. You can see the little uh, dragon-like uh, uh. creature on Lucid's shoulder, just sort of protectively wrapped around their neck, and Lucid just sort of like dramatically looks around with like the hand over the eyes, like a visor looks around for who to throw the beach ball to, and it's just sort of being shady about it. Looks like they're gonna throw it at. Uh, probably like in this general direction, but just completely throws it backwards and probably whams Sam in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Snake eyes. Sam like dies back instantly. a bit. He's like, psych! Ha! Did I get you? Did I get you? Yeah. Oh, that hurt a bit. Oh yeah. By the way, my name's Lucid. I completely forgot to say my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, did I say my name? back slightly, uh. just like. <laughs> Frightened of the child that can like <laughs> manifest different powers each day. <laughs> it's just like, okay. You look down and the words, how do you see yourself in the future? <laughs> <laughs> huh, okay, so. Oh. How do you see yourself in the future? <laughs> Dead. I throw it, just like chuck it ahead to like as far forward as possible. Toby's just, just like, cracking so. up, like, <laughs> not taking it seriously, just like, ah. <laughs> That's good one. It's just like me too. <laughs> what? Ra you oh. hear Raven sort of chuckle in the back and be like, "That's pretty. That's pretty sick." <laughs> oh yeah, <it's> a, <laughs> his attorney magically catches that. Like his attorney's really <laughs> caught off guard, but it's like, "I got it," sort of thing, and like catches it. Oh, facts. His attorney catches it and kind of like cradles it in his little arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tiny. I got five. Why are you a bright side? Oh God. <laughs> the attorney like. He's holding the ball and then flips it over to see where his thumb landed. And then he's like, can I, can someone throw it to me again so I can get a new question, please? He looks at the, what's her name? Hoshia. Yeah. Miss Hoshia's um, just like, oh, are you not comfortable answering that question? I don't, everyone already knows the answer really, so I don't really want to. Uh, Kifa, the girl from behind you, is just crawling over the desk like, I don't know, I don't know, I want to know the answer. You don't even just... know what the question is! I don't care, I wanna know! Oh, okay, god, I'll answer it then. <laughs> she has her phone out, she's actively recording you. The attorney looks dead into the camera. So, the question is, why am I at Brightside? And, um, I used to be at Phoenix Academy, and then, uh, I got framed for a crime I didn't do, so they threw me here, separated me from my sister and all of my friends, and now, I am alone and sad so thanks guys keep us just like oh you're mercury's little brother oh my gosh that sucks yeah <laughs> thanks he throws the the beach ball um keep us just like and she like throws the beach ball up and catches it and she just sort of stands up and she's just like hello everyone my name is kifa gibbs i'm probably a little bit more well known as vector i am a Famous online superhero. Uh, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and Pinterest. And don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel as well. You might also know me as Cupid. When I was a kid, I used to go by Cupid. It was like some stupid little like girly superhero thing, modeling job, you know, all that stuff. But now I'm Vector and I actually do some really cool stuff. <laughs> but it turns out, I'm kind of a bad egg. I kind of do bad things sometimes. <laughs> Good attention. But anyways, my question, when did you first get your powers? Well, it's debatable. I did have some tragic backstory things happen, but- Does that just... explain your eyes? The attorney interrupts her. Kifa kind of goes blank at that, like, um, well, yeah, but it's kind of a boring story, so I was just gonna tell you that my real superpower is just, you know, being able to be a superhero at all. It takes kind of a lot of guts. You gotta be really brave to be out there nowadays, especially with the uprising of villains. Ew. So... <laughs> <laughs> Raven's just like, hell yeah! Oh, you're one of- oh, you're one of my kind. I We're hold up be... my hand to Raven for a high five. Oh yeah, they high five! She's just like, oh, you're so cool. Hey, you want a sticker? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I got so many cool stickers, they're so freaking rad. She like comes around and like brings her sticker book and the teacher's just like, um, Miss Attorney, Crow, please return to your seat. The attorney gets out of his chair. Wait, what's a sticker? Yes, what is a sticker? <laughs> I'm coming you over. Come They're really cool. Oh, they are tiny images. 
They are removable images? Like Can in you put one on my books? face? <laughs> Raven sticks one right in the middle of your forehead. It's a rainbow. Oh my god! Uh, uh, te teacher? Um, if everybody could please return to their seats for oh, almost... more! Teacher? Oh, oh, I want we more! Can, you can talk more during lunch, I promise. We're almost through our introductions. Miss Joe turns around, he has a ton of smiley faces all over his face, and he's like, okay. <laughs> yes, miss, yes, Miss Teacher. And he just goes and sits down. Yes, yes, Mr. Nelson. I don't feel so. <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> Connor hits the floor. Mr. Shia's just... Oh, no, 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 no. I was warned about this. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, 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 oh, oh, no. She goes frantically running about the classroom trying to do something. Turning Caspian's runs just like, over. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no. And Caspian comes over. Um, probably like, you know, oh, geez. Uh, he actually knows quite a bit of medical stuff, so he's actually doing the proper things while Miss Hoshia runs around like a chicken with her head cut off. She gets on the phone, you can just see her like, uh, Contagion uh, has fallen! And she's just like, uh, uh, require backup uh, assistance! Teacher! Teacher, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. He just, he just okay. passed out. He's fine. Yeah. You just kind of, you need to, you need to take it easy there, bud. You might be a little dehydrated. No, it's... J don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's hey, are you okay? Do you want a sticker? <laughs> no. He sticks it to his mask. I thanks. I, I appreciate that. No, don't worry. It's fine. I just have a symptom. Symptom. Yeah, today my. In case you didn't know, I get like these symptoms or diseases, and it's always something different every day. This one happens to be fainting. I would just randomly oh, faint. That's fun. Yeah. I think Real while this fun. was happening, I, like, looked over at Connor when he fell over, and then I turned back to Raven. So about the stickers? <laughs> <laughs> the Actually, the nurse comes rushing in. Um, and he literally rushes in so fast, he trips on the rug and sort of, like, <laughs> skids across, and he's like, ah! And then he, like, gets up, and he's like, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, oh, I'm a, uh, what's a student? Fainted? Died? I'm Got right here. Contagion? I'm okay. Oh, 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 oh. No, it's just a false oh. alarm. I just, I, I just, I just fainted. It's one of my symptoms today. I'm, I'm good. Hey. He hey. sort of like looks at you like into your eyes and he's like, oh, I don't know. If you, I don't think, I, I don't think you're very well. Do you want to come to the nurse's office? No, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. I'm good. I, I just felt lightheaded and now I just realized what my symptom is today. So I'm good. Uh, you can go now. Uh, today? Oh, all right. Uh, bye, guys. And he just freaking leaves, like, just like that. <laughs> so, uh, Caspian, make sure you're okay. And he just goes back to his seat, like, like the good hero. And Ms. Tony Hoshia. walks over to, um, Sylvia and Raven, and he's like, My name's Saturni. What's your guys' names? Uh, I'm Sylvia. Uh, nice to meet you, fuzzy butt. <gasps> A nickname! <laughs> Raven's just like, ah. Yeah. And my nickname for you can be Loser. Okay! In case it wasn't obvious. Uh, you I'm know, big black rings. Raven. Cool. I'm gonna look to Raven, and I'm gonna point to the sticker in the book that has a picture of vampire fangs with the with the quote, Eat the Rich. It's like, <laughs> I don't want like that one. Yeah, go for it. Right. So she uh, is just like, Please. Please return to your seats. <laughs> please. Please oh, right, I forgot. Seats. She's just, she's begging at this point. Raven just like, Pfft. oh man, we're gonna have such a great semester. I cannot wait. I know it's gonna be great. Kifa, who has been having a baby fit, crosses, crossing her arms, just like pouting because everybody took the attention off of her. <laughs> she stands up tall again and is like, <clears throat> as I was saying, I argue that I got my powers <laughs> the day I was born because you know what. It takes a lot of guts to be a hero. My quote unquote hero powers just sort of enhance how awesome I am. She crosses her arms and sits down and just looks very posh and very assertive of herself. She's just like, ah, oh, yes, I did a great job. Were and you then... like saving people from the crib? <laughs> she she yeah, glares. <laughs> she glares a little bit. She's just like, Mari looks away like, eh, I didn't say anything. No. She's like, okay. Rainbow kid, you wanna go? And she just throws the beach ball right over at you. Not hard, not like she's trying to hurt you, but she's definitely like put uh, off by that. 
Uh, not Oliver's, at all, but I suppose not. Oliver's still taking notes, and uh, at the last, uh, the last bit that she that he's like, oh, that's kind of like what my mom says. Okay, Amari finally like stands up. Amari's been noticeably like avoiding looking at this side of the room, but um, Amari's been like kind of looking over here, and I don't know how the teacher's gonna take that, but that's fine. Um, Amari. <laughs> Like, you know, stands up with the ball and just kind of holds it for a second. It's like, um, I'm, I'm Amari. I, um, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see what's on this ball. It says, where are you from? Um, technically I'm from Halcyon City. I just recently moved back here because, uh, reasons. But, uh, yeah. That's, I don't really have anywhere other special that I'm from, I suppose. Most of my family's from Finland, if that's something you want to know. Uh, they kind of hold the ball and just... They're, they're fidgeting a lot. Like, he, he, it's pretty noticeable that, like, it's not... Maybe it's nervous fidgeting, maybe it's just them in general, but the whole entire time they were at in this classroom, like, some part of them was just moving. Um... He, Amari's looking over in, uh, the opposite direction, uh, and, uh, just kind of passes it. Uh, Nubi, um, got the question, when did you first get your powers? Um, and he answered them... That he always sort of had the super intelligence, uh, since his uh, parents adopted him and sort of made him that way. And newbie politely answers that question and sort of like nervously like keeps sideward glancing at the teacher like. The attorney waves to him like, "Hey, fluffy guy, can I go again?" And newbie's just like, "Yeah, sure," and like throws the ball. Like you could probably see newbie like calculating that, like, "Oh, it's gonna be a perfect throw," and he does. That goes over the attorney's head. He catches it and stands up. <laughs> so she's just like, um. Attorney, you've already had a, a turn, sweetie. I got number six. <laughs> <laughs> How do you see yourself in the future? How do I see myself in the future? He talks over the teacher. She's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, hopefully, I don't know, with just like a lot of friends, I like talking to people. So, like, if you guys want to be my friend, please do, because I just really, you know, I just want to surround myself with everyone. Okay, who wants to go next? Jump up out of your seat. Miss Gio, who's just honestly trying to answer your 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 cry of desperation, is just like, I will be your friend. But you probably mistook that as him raising his hand to like catch the beach ball. So he throws the beach ball and he's like, Okay, let's be friends. Miss Gio's like, we are now friends, and I am now holding the beach ball. He looks at Miss Hoshia confused, and she's just like, Um, just go ahead and throw it at someone else. You already had a turn, Miss Gio. And Miss Gio's just like, You could see the gears turning in his head, just like, But Saturni went twice? Hey, <laughs> he's just- Hey, friend, just- just throw it at, um, the- 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 the, the shark dude behind the pink person. <laughs> Caspian notices you called him that. And he's just like, I'm. My name is Caspian. He's just like, oh, Throw it at Caspian. Oh, yeah. You know he has a yes. name, right? Oh, uh, he just told me. Mushio so. throws it towards Caspian, and Lucid punts it out of the air, cackling, just so absolutely thrilled that he intercepted that, and the ball goes rolling towards Sylvia. Lucid's just like, psych! <laughs> totally messed that up. Oh man, I love messing stuff up. Crap. I think um, before the ball rolled to me, I think I was trying to slide under my desk. Oh, so I'm like attempt a breakout, and then the ball rolled to me, and I'm like, crud. Okay, oh, God, dang it. <laughs> Attorney points like, at her. She's trying to escape. Miss Hoshio, she does the, the most ball, pretty boy. Miss Hoshio does the most like angry grandma, like hands on hips, sort of like, dare you. <laughs> I mean, what were you expecting? No one wants to be here. Right. Uh, okay. Like, my God. Everybody's getting fives and sixes. Why are you at Brightside? Hey, teacher, why did you put the same question on all of the parts? <laughs> Can I, um, can I attempt to, like, I'm like, eh, I don't like this one. And then, like, I throw the ball up and just catch it to see if my thumb lands on a different... <laughs> yes, you could absolutely do that. Watch right. it not. Come on. Miss Hoshia's just sort of like, 
Rules don't exist. That's nice. <laughs> She's just so like, ah. uh, number four is when did you first get your powers? I was actually born with them. It's just part of my genetics. That's how it works. Okay. All right. Um, you hear, you hear Kifa off in the corner. She's like, hey, what are your powers? I'm not recording it or anything. You don't have to do anything really cool. I mean, I don't have a camera. She's, she's winking with her only good eye. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was going to do something, and then the fact that she's like, hey, show us your powers. I'm like, no. <laughs> um, just fight Kifa. It's fun. <laughs> so she is just like... <laughs> like, you can see she's, like, retreating back to, like, behind the podium. Like, if this kid explodes, at least this will protect her. <laughs> and she's just, like, eee, hiding behind her clipboard. Looking at the other side of the room, just like, uh, uh, just, like, hand on his head, like, oh, my God, it's sitting next to me. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Connor catches it. Oh, thanks. All right, let's see what question I got. Uh, who is your family? Oh, so I'm a single child. Um, my mom is a, she was a school counselor at a different school when we lived on the uh, East Coast before we had to move here. Um, she is still looking for a teaching job. Um, she does not want to work at Brightside, before you ask, because- So she, she probably had her finger raised, like she's gonna go, <gasps> and like say something. And then she just sort of defeatedly like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. That's my mom. She's a school counselor, or was. She's looking for another job as a school counselor, essentially, in the area. And my dad is actually a medical doctor, and he does a lot of research at home, and he also works at a uh, at a medical facility doing a lot of research. And that's ba pretty much my family. I shall throw it to... Sort of turns around and just, like, tosses it to Raji, who honestly was not paying attention enough, and she catches it, and then she's just sort of like, whoa. And then she's just, she's tossing the ball back and forth, like, nonchalantly, like the cool kid, looking around the room, like, old western movie style, just glaring at everybody, getting a real good look at her enemies. And she looks down at the beach ball, and sort of scoffs. All you need to know is that I'm Raji. I am not who you think I am. If you already know who I am, you need to get that image out of your mind right now. I'm not the villain I used to be. I don't care what the hell this beach ball says, but I want you to know that I'm Raji. I'm not who I used to be. And if you don't want to accept that and you don't want to start over like I do, you're a fool and I will not speak to you. And she just throws it. <laughs> Caspian, who's just like, actually has been staring her down the entire time. She was sort of directing that at him. Uh, Caspian, who is well known as one of the heroes of Halcyon, uh, there is a hero group called the Archipelago. Uh, they're like the big hero group of the city that everybody really looks up to. He's one of the protégés of that group. And Raji, who was formerly known as Cutlass, uh, she was a part of a very bad sword gang, and she was a villain, but now she is obviously not. Caspian, who is just, like, trying his best to, like, avert his eyes from Raji, but absolutely cannot, and is also probably eyeing down Raven and also Toby. Um, Hi. He's <laughs> Let's start over. After all, it is Brightside. We have a chance to do everything over for a brighter future. He says, directly staring at you three. And Sophia now, who he didn't really realize was a villain, but has obviously made that very clear. And he's just like, um, and asks why I'm at Brightside. Honestly, because this class needs a babysitter. Miss Hoshia physically breaks. <laughs> like, she just sort of, oh, like that, that hit her in a very soft spot. I, uh, Oliver nudges Raj. It's like, holy crap, do you realize who that is? I think he's looking in our direction, too. Raji absolutely <laughs> just stares at you. Like, you swear you could see steam come from her nostrils. She's so angry. <laughs> like, she's not pleased with what you just had to say. <laughs> she just completely ignores you. Yes, um, I'm at Brightside by the order of the archipelago. I'm here to do pretty much an investigation to see if the institution is upkeeping its promise, if it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, 
And if the students are truly, truly becoming the heroes of tomorrow, because honestly, your passing rate, mm, not so adequate. Miss Toshio's just like, hey, hey, I wasn't a part of that. I just started here. <laughs> Caspi is just like nodding and he's just like, oh, they're watching you. They're watching you through me. And he just has his hands behind his head, sitting coolly back in his chair like he's hot shit. And he's just sort of like tosses the beach ball with one strong shark arm over to Miranda, who is just super excited to catch that beach ball. She's just like, I thought nobody knew I was back here. Oh, wait. Everybody's like, oh shit, wait, there was something back here. And she's just like, hi, I'm really excited to be here. Uh, it seems like we're all getting off to a pretty rough start, but I'm Miranda. Um, you could call me Red Sparrow, though. That's my hero name. I am super excited to be here. I've been working for the organization called Root. They're an extension of Aegis. Uh, <coughs> they've really changed my life for the better, and I'm hoping that can shine through with all of my great work I'm going to do here. I really hope to become a tutor, so if you guys ever need help with anything, um, I hope we can be friends. And I'm gonna look at the beach ball now, because now I'm really staring and I'm getting nervous! Where are you from? I'm- I'm from Halcyon. I've always been in Halcyon. My parents have worked for Aegis forever, and uh, now I'm following in their footsteps. Uh, who hasn't gone yet? Raven just- Ugh. Give it to me, let's get it over with. You actually notice for the first time that like, damn, she has really big wings. Like, she's- She has wings, like, black as night wings. And she's just sort of like, Chews her bubblegum, pops it, looks at everybody, and she's just like, Sup, losers. I'm hey. Raven. Wow, you responded. You're an extra loser. I'll remember that. Sam was going to reply, but he closed his mouth. He was, was going to say sup, but then he's like, oh, hmm. He, uh, Oliver well, was did. about to as well and makes a note. <laughs> <laughs> she, she looks over at Oliver and she's just like, oh no, you're already a loser. I already got that one down. I kind of uh, knew that. Sam just, Sam just yells across, I think you're cool. Thanks, All right, Sam. you're less of a loser. She looks down and the thing uh, says, who is your family? And she laughs. She just breaks out laughing and she's like, ha! who is my family? Don't pretend you don't know. And Mushio kindly is just like, I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, loser. All right, I will shut up. And he sits back down. With his fingers crossed. What have I lost? You all know Black Crow. He terrorizes his city. That's my dad. That's my family. Oh. And before you say, oh no, you're gonna be just like him. Nonsense. If I want to do things like him, I'll do things like him. If I don't want to do things like him, I won't do things like him. I'm my own person. There's a reason why I'm called Rogue Raven, and he's the Black Crow. I don't necessarily agree with heroes or villains. I'm more of the neutral route. So, stay out of my way. And we won't have any issues. Get in my way, I will happily flatten you. She <laughs> stares at Oliver. <laughs> uh, he dots his eyes, crosses his T's, look up. Actually, <laughs> here. She hands you a prepackaged bandaid. You'll probably need that later when I beat your ass. Uh -huh. <laughs> she, she throws the ball across the room and then hits Sam again. <laughs> She's like, oh shit, I think you already this went. Time, this time I caught it. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> this time I was watching. <laughs> Throw it at whoever. I, I wasn't paying attention. She, she crosses her legs and, like, slams her boots on the desk, and the teacher's just like, Um, Miss Crow, if you could have a little bit more manners. And then Miss Soshio just shuts up and, like, hides behind her clipboard, like, <laughs> when, like, Raven even just, like, makes the slightest move forward. So, yeah, Raven continues to have her boots on the desk. She doesn't give a shit. Good throw. <laughs> Luffy's never. just like, I got it! And she like jumps up because she's really freaking short. She catches it with like her whole body and like lands on the floor. And it's just like, I got it! Good catch. Thank you. I tried very hard. My name is Lofi Kenta. And um, my mom is Tsunami. Um, she's a big time hero. And um, that's Caspian over there. That's, that's, he's like my, my best friend. Hi, Caspian. And Caspian just like waves like, hi, Lofi. We see each other all the time, Luffy. Stop. And then she's just like, Oh! Uh, what is my hobby? <gasps> oh! I... I love watching this show! It's called Comfort Crab! 
and he goes on all these adventures with all these other animals, and they solve problems, and it's so cute! It, I want to watch! The turning jumps out of his seat. <laughs> yeah! We should watch it sometime! <gasps> we should! Yeah! I like, uh, I like that show. <gasps> you like Cup for Crab? We have to watch it together! Yay, Cup for yeah. Crab! <laughs> Screw I'm the so school. excited! <laughs> hey, um, Miss Teacher? Miss Hoshia is just practically like at a 90 degree angle, just given up defeated. She's just like, mm hmm, yes, Miss Kenta. Can, can we can we start a comfort crab club? <gasps> and Miss Hoshia is just like, yes, you could you could start a club. We can get that registered as soon as it's club day. But for now, can we just. Can we just all go to lunch early? I'm just really tired. She's just... She looks like death. I'm everybody... starving! Hey, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to steal the beach ball, sorry. It's okay. Actually, no, I'm done. Okay, let's go to lunch. Okay, <laughs> so she was just like, that's fine. You can take the beach ball. Also, if you ever wanted one, there is a comfort crab in the back of the classroom. For comforting what? purposes. What? Yes, give that to me. <laughs> I'll take the beach ball, please. Yes, you can have Wait. that. We won't be needing it anymore since now we know each other, unfortunately. I mean, unfortunately. <laughs> Do you mean fortunately? Of course! Let's go to lunch! Next time on Brightside, food fight! Is this kid serious? It's only day one. Exactly! First impressions matter. Tell that to the principal, Brett. Brett? That's it! Pizza to the face, robot menace! Join us next time for more... More, more 